you need to understand the image you want to project about yourself because it either makes or mar your reputation everything has to be with self people tend to forget about themselves and pay attention to actually what goes you have to pick up an image that is accustomed with yourself as a person <laughs> guys hi my name is victory is a i am a pet sit style coach i help short women discover their personal style discover the true meaning of style i help them with tips and tutorials on how to style themselves much easier on instagram i'm on tiktok please do well to engage with me and follow me on all the social media platforms because what i share on those platforms will help you develop your style will help you make shopping and dressing yourself way much fun in today's video i'm going to be talking about invest in your image i'm going to be telling you what image is about give you examples of different images even my own and then i'm going to tell you why it is important for you to pay attention to your image and steps to invest in your image and finally i'm going to bring personal style and image together this will be fun i'm going to make this as practical as possible you walking on the street and then you see a girl she's wearing a buyer gown and then she's wearing very nice hemi slippers a very cute handbag louis vuitton right her hair is amazing what will you think about that particular girl she's rich abby she's classy she oh she's she looks married that is the image you now you have completed in your mind ah, this girl is so rich ah, see her back see her, ah, see her hair is so nice that's the image it is only that girl that knows whether she's rich or not oh. it's only that girl that knows whether she's married that is image what is image image is the external representation of yourself image is external representation of who you are so which means that you first of all have to understand who you are before you go ahead and project any other thing outside this brings me to saying image cannot be faked people fake image rule. people want to give off the impression they are rich expensive faking rich is expensive image is an external representation of yourself you cannot give what is not there even if you fake it it cannot last you want to make sure that whatever it is you project outside is actually who you are this brings us to understanding what self-image is about self-image is the mental picture the ideal imagination you have about yourself if you say you're the kind of person that you are you are kind you are you're not selfish make sure that what you project as like what people see is a kind of selfish person image is very important you have to understand yourself to be able to know what to project outside and how to project it image is representation of external form of a person or the general impression of a person or a product the dictionary definition i'm going to take away that product i'm going to deal with the person that the general impression a person presents to the public physical appearance is actually important because it goes before you speak it goes before you what i'm talking about now is the one you project before you say anything like from the definition the definition said general impression you present to the public you have not said anything and people are already assuming and see this thing, it cannot change it won't stop with you it cannot stop with you so please i want you to understand that when it comes to image it's actually very important for you not to leave it to the public to decide for you or to not be in control of the narrative that's actually one of the importance of paying attention to your image you cannot leave the public to talk anything about you to say anything about you you have to be in control of what you want to put out there you cannot leave your image to carelessness you cannot leave your image to negligence you cannot leave your image to ignorance ignorance is not an excuse in the court of law right no good <laughs> you have to pay attention to your image because it goes before you it determines oh this girl she looks like what we want in this job oh, she looks together she looks gathered they will start using all these adjectives to qualify you or to explain you she looks gathered she looks together she looks comported you have not said anything it's your image that is talking that's actually how powerful image is and image can open up or close the door for you so you cannot be careless you cannot copy let's take for instance images right the kind of image we see every day we see the bad girl i'm not talking about bad girl bad girl like moral bad girl no i'm talking about bad girl vibe the body vibe big camouflage 
kind of you know girls yeah the hot chick vibe the trendy vibe the high fashion people these are images now this image comes from a place of this is what i want this is actually how i want to be seen you actually have to be careful if you say this is how i want to be seen you have to understand what it entails to be seen as that not when people start talking you start feeling bad because people will talk so when you pick up an image you want to present to the public you have to actually be aware that even though they talk it's coming from a place of self-realization this is what you want nobody's dictating anything so i'm not dictating anything i'm not saying you should pick up this image or this image is more important than the other no this image is more superior than the other no you have to know that it is your choice to make and you have to pay attention to that image in order <laughs> not to be overwhelmed with that or not to be frustrated because of the image you pick off or the image you copy because you see other people doing it. so let's say you that loves all these um bad girl vibes you know edgy kind of image right and then what you see i like it like it as for like, people like this you know you now turn your wardrobe into that my god the kind of attention you get right you may not be able to control it but the other person can so you shouldn't copy another person's image because you think it's better or because you think it's more appreciated your image should come from a place of self-realization you have to understand yourself to say yes this is the image i want to put out there so for me for example i love the boss lady kind of vibe and to be honest with you all my life i have been called a boss lady and i like it i love to be seen as mature the way i comport myself the way i walk i'm not talking now i'm not saying anything the way i dress points to that particular image projects it it amplifies it you cannot say i want to be and then your dressing is saying another thing no you can't it's not possible i love to be seen as a boss lady so there's this day i went to the mall no more spa spa market to get something for my friend he was sick as i came out the security guys that were at, that usually stay at the door to check your receipt was checking my receipt and was like was looking at me in some kind of way right and then he was like how is the family i said yeah fine i mean i'll answer you i won't pick offense because that is what i want you to believe I, that's your problem so even if they say anything i will accept it because this is what i want i like it like that i'm sorry i'm touching my mic this is what i want this is how i like it you need to understand the image you want to project about yourself because it either makes or mar your reputation depression is real i know this year to get that you cannot just pick up any image no you can't you pick up the image of anything goes my sister you see anything goes you will see you have to be careful of the image you pick up and you can't fake it you have to understand it there is no image that is superior to the other there's no image that is better than the other but then make sure that it comes from a place of self-realization first it is very important why pay attention to your image i'm going to give you three reasons why you should pay attention to your image. So the first thing you control the narrative you cannot leave it to the public to control my secondary school i was criticized a lot because of how i walk right at that point it didn't make it didn't really make sense to me but i love how i walk and it wasn't for me I wasn't faking it, right? So people picked offense with the way I was because they considered you too mature for me as a small girl. I shouldn't be looking like she's looking. She's she's looking like she doesn't she disturb me. But now all those things joined together made like made the whole image holy. A lot of people have said that they are discouraged. They say want to stop me. They are discouraged because of the way I walk, the way I carry myself. That's an image. And I love it. So you have to be in control of the narrative. Put in their mouth what you want them to say. If they are hitting, that's your problem. But let it be what you expect them. To be in control of you don't leave the narrative for the public to decide for you. It is actually very, very wrong. And please ignore the saying of I don't care what people think about me. Please, you should care. Please, let me make this clear. You should care. Why? You should not be careless about the image you project outside. It's very important. Like I said, this is not ending with you. It's not start with you. It's not end with you. We talk, right? But let that talking not come from a place of carelessness or ignorance or negligence with respect to how you project yourself. You're a lady. You're a lady. You shouldn't leave it. Please. You should be in control of it. A lot of ladies say, I don't care. You, that you don't have the mind to say, you don't care. You follow them and say, you don't care. Why people not talk to you anyhow outside because the image you projected you now enter depression now become sad why are you sad man? you should care but then don't care if it's actually what you want 
that you're not bothering people will talk but let that talking be exactly what you expected from them number two you know your limits and understand the boundaries as a lady there's a way you should live your life you shouldn't live it carelessly when you understand yourself understand the image you want to project out you now understand your boundaries your limit what you can take and what you cannot take the people that will talk to you and people that can't talk to you you need to understand that you are not just anybody it makes people respect you knowing your image knowing the image you project out there faces a worth on you number three point is you know how to respond to situations the image you project will make you way should i say this should i respond does even what it's but now you know people can annoy you but then it should be able to control your response that's all about the reasons why you should pay attention to your email let's go over to invest in your email i'm going to give you steps on how to invest in your email investing in your email means paying attention to certain things that will help develop your image you have to pay attention to these steps because it will help develop your image you have to understand the image you want to project you cannot fake it you cannot pretend you cannot pick up just any image you have to understand that image i said i love to be seen as boss lady that doesn't mean that people will consider me bossy with the way i do things you have to understand the image you want to project first before you pick it up can you handle it so make adjustments if it's too strict at a point i was really strict with the whole image stuff with my friends and all of that so they were complaining so i had to make adjustments not that you should change totally you make adjustments let it actually fit let the people that matter in your life not be too distant from you because of the image you project so you have to make adjustments if it's too strict too tight it actually helps your whole communication and people tend to understand you better before you even say anything learn about the image you wish to project please even if you did not pick up anything in this video pick up a faking image is not the right thing it will stress you it will stress you don't fake it is it fake it till you make it not in this one because anything that is not in harmony with you as a person you will have problem with it it's not styling and your image you want to be careful not to leave your physical appearance to chance you can't just copy you know that you cannot handle bad girl vibe. You now react to that gives off bad girl vibe. And somebody will now come and smack your butt. You now be angry. I'm not saying it's right to ma. The society is crazy. You, as a lady, should pay attention to it. Understand your style first now. Understand this and then work towards it. This video is not about personal style. This video is not about steps to develop personal style. There's a different video for that. This thing I'm talking about is personal style and the need to actually develop and understand your personal style because it goes hand in hand with your image. It goes hand in hand with the impression you give off there. You have to understand it. It's called personal for a reason. It's called, you cannot imitate. Imitate and develop. Let it match. Let it be in harmony with yours. I'm not saying that you have to stick with one type of personality. It can be a match, a mixture of all of them. There are about six or seven type of personalities. You can mix and match all of them. Let it come from a place of understanding yourself. Everything has to be with self. People tend to forget about themselves and pay attention to actually what goes. That is wrong. A personal style and image goes on and you should pay attention to it. Know your personal style. If you don't know your personal style, there's a video on it. I talked about five basic style personalities. I listed their attributes, how they dress, what they think of look. Check it and see whether one speaks to you in any way. You went to a new country. You're not used to the weather condition. The weather is too extreme. You may adjust. You may not adjust why because you are accustomed to the Nigerian weather. So it's going to really be hard. Sometimes you may not even adjust, you just come back. So person don't adjust. You have to pick up an image that is accustomed with yourself as a person. You can't lie to yourself. It brings a lot of issues. Low self-esteem, worthlessness, depression, sadness, the feeling of not being enough. Yeah, that is everything about image, the need to invest in your image and the steps to actually take to invest in your image so if i did not explain anything very well in this video please let me know i really want to know i want to know your view on this particular topic and share to your friends we need to change the narrative of a lot of things with respect to personal styling dressing yourself in self-image thank you so much for watching see you in my next video guys